what is up guys welcome back to the lumsden motorsports garage i'm wade lumsden uh it is tuesday and we are actually gonna do some work on the race car um i did take a brief moment to uh try working on sprinklers real quick uh just try to solve some stuff in the daylight um and you know when you're chasing a project down chasing issues down and you fix one and then you fix one and then you fix one and then you find a big one <laughs> it's kind of what happened i just this is not a sprinkler video but uh i got a bunch of stuff over there in the yard fixed and then uh check this out in the neighbor's yard yeah so started finding some water running out from here underneath this fence right here which on the other side of that is my driveway um so what i'm hoping <laughs> there's got to be a break there's definitely a break um but what now i have to hope for is uh in my side yard where it's still dirt uh that the break is somewhere between the dirt and the concrete because if it's underneath the concrete i don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, the joys! Oh man. Okay. Well, that's the uh, that's the sprinkler update. Uh, let's get this car pushed out and washed off, and actually get started on the modified. Cause we gotta go racing this weekend. It's Tuesday, uh, so that gives me tonight, Wednesday thursday to get the car done if we're gonna go race friday if not i have friday so i can go race saturday um, let's see what we can get done So, uh, car's washed off. Woo -woo. Uh, park over there. Um, and I filled in some holes <laughs> while I was waiting for the car to dry. I am not a gardener. I'm definitely not a landscape guy. So, uh, I didn't do a very good job. That's why I waited until it was dark to show you. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, now the car's car's clean uh, got to get it in the garage and uh, start getting to 
work on it. Um, I might, I'm thinking um, it's getting pretty late tonight. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna get it into the garage um, and get it jacked up and get it ready. Might, I might pull the tires off um, and get it ready for um, what I, what I want to do. So <sighs> nothing like, you know, uh, doing things, uh, you know, procrastination, I guess nothing like waiting to do things. And then I'm sure tomorrow and the next day, I'm just going to be thrashing on this thing because I want to go race Friday. So <laughs> we'll make things work. All right, guys, so it is now Thursday uh, after I got off work and I got a lot to do. The car is like up on jack stands <laughs> and ready for me to actually start doing some work. Um, if you were watching some of the uh, previous videos, I might have said something about changing shocks and uh, other things. I think I'm gonna go a different route. I did some soul searching, um, some chatting, and with my chassis manufacturer and uh, um, and I had come up with uh, a couple different ideas to bounce off of them and we picked a direction that I'm gonna try um, to help out my handling issues we'll go over those um, a little bit but it has to do with like my weight placement and stuff um, but uh, I wanted to announce that hey it's been a couple years that I've been telling people that shirts are gonna come, shirts are gonna come, shirts are gonna come. And you might have noticed in a couple videos, I have some Lumsden Motorsport shirts, but those were my samples. Um, I went through the long process of ordering like six or seven different materials to make sure that the material was something that we liked and um, that the design was gonna look good on six or different, six or seven different colors. Um, so I landed on this. Uh, we have shirts. Right here in Lumsden Motorsports. Uh, they only come in the one color though. Uh, I got sizes from smalls all the way up to 5X. Um, win the show, be the show. Um, I guess the long saying to that is if you can't win the show, do something spectacular and be the show. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that's the funny side of it, I guess. The uh, win the show, be the show. That's kind of the kind of the motto I've been going with for the last. Um, last year or so so i got t-shirts available um if you want one reach out to me uh probably go to my facebook page uh the lumsden motorsports facebook page and we'll figure it out i don't have like an online store or anything um, i literally just got these today they just got finished today um so i haven't set up like an online marketplace but if you see me at the racetrack i do have shirts available um come see me uh if you're you know not on the west coast and not going to nevada racetracks and you want a shirt um hit me up on my lumsden motorsports facebook page and we'll figure it out i'll figure out how to get it shipped to you and uh all that happy stuff so uh you know got merch so uh let me know if you want a shirt <laughs> um anyways i'm gonna get back to the car i uh, gotta get it done and loaded uh I think what I'm going to try to do, um, the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, go under the car and do a bunch of the regular maintenance items. Um, once I get done doing the regular maintenance stuff, and I don't, unless I find something kind of major, uh, I don't think I'm going to share that with you because uh, I'm going to discuss probably what I'm going to do with my weight. Um, and that is, I think going to be the start of my big changes so um, let me get the maintenance stuff done and I'll come back and talk to you about the changes for uh, performance improvement I guess um, so yeah be right back alrighty guys <clears throat> so cars back on the ground uh, went ahead and uh, made my changes so um, I guess 
I, I, I kind of want to, I guess I'll go through my, my thought process here and, and what I changed. So, um, I felt like one of my issues was being, um, too loose coming in. Um, I felt like coming into the corner, the car was, was rotating really good. Um, but I was having to counter steer, um, what I felt was too early, um, counter steering too early, a little bit too much. Um, and the, the car didn't feel like a lot of people would say it, it, it felt like it had no side bite, right? It was just kind of, didn't feel like it was getting down into the racetrack, you know, felt like it was kind of, kind of skating. Um, and so I, I kind of took a little bit of a different approach. I, I was thinking about putting a softer compression shock on my right rear, um, try to help speed that transfer up a little bit. But with all the things that I was doing, I was lowering my J bar way down. Um, I, I kept, I kept dumping wedge in it. I kept, you know, um, I started <clears throat> thinking, started thinking, and I went back and I looked at my sheets and, um, I started to realize that I'm about, you know, 40 pounds heavier uh, than when I uh, last set up my numbers and stuff. So um, it, it kind of dawned on me that maybe, maybe the left side percentage that I had in my car was too high um, for the now little chubblier um, driver that's sitting in the seat. So um, I was thinking that my left side weight was a little too high and that my rear weight is a little bit too low. So um, <clears throat> what I did is basically I moved, uh, I'm, I moved an entire chunk of lead from uh, one corner uh, from one corner of the car on the left side behind the driver um, over to the right hand side. Uh, I left it up um, kind of higher. That way when the car rolls over, um, it's, it's using that, um, I, I guess that large amount of leverage, um, up higher to help get that, uh, right tire to plant a little bit more. So, um, <clears throat> I, that's the, the major change that I'm trying. Um, and it's kind of drastic. It's, uh, <clears throat> what I dropped it by, I, I think like around a percent on the left side. I dropped it down a percent on the left side and I believe I increased it by a percent and a half, uh, on the rear. Um, I would have to look at my, my note, but anyways, uh, yeah, so we're, we're going to try that. Uh, hopefully, um, hopefully those are good changes. We're going to find out, uh, especially since most of the, most of that was for like when a track slows down and gets dry slick, which is really common in the Nevada area, uh, to get a dry slick racetrack. Um, and I have no idea what Lovelock's going to be. Uh, <clears throat> again, it's a racetrack that hasn't raced in uh, over two years. So who knows? Uh, I know there's guys up there uh, working their butts off, um, getting it watered and all that other happy stuff. So heck, I might get up there and it might be super tacky and I might have just hurt myself. I, I have no idea. So, uh, <laughs> but it being July in the middle of July still, uh, and the Nevada desert, I'm going to assume that, uh, the racetrack is going to slick off. Um, so we're going to give this a shot. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. Um, it is Thursday night and it is currently, yeah, it's currently 10 o'clock. So it's a little too late for me to uh, load, fire up and load the car. Um, but I'm going to get as much as I can loaded into the trailer, 
uh, without making too much god awful noise for my neighbors. Um, and then we'll have to load up tomorrow, go to work, leave work, and head to the track. So uh, don't forget to um, like and subscribe if you like what we're doing here. And uh, check out the Lumsden Motorsports Facebook page, especially if you want to um, get a shirt, let me know. Uh, I'll figure out the shipping thing. I already, um, already got some really good ideas on how to do the shipping thing. Uh, uh, from, from a couple people on Facebook. So that was, that's really awesome. Um, but, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, uh, share, comment, uh, questions, comments, concerns down below. Uh, let me know if you think I'm going in the right direction, wrong direction. You know, um, I, I'm a firm believer that if you don't try something to make it better, and you you just stay the same right like that's your own fault uh especially if you're not happy with the way you're performing and i'd really like to go faster so um we're throwing some stuff at it and see if i like it so again like subscribe questions comments concerns below and uh we're gonna go racing this weekend catch you next time guys